What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Undertale. Last time we were journeying through this beginning place, and it was, it was interesting. It was interesting. I have been very passive so far. I accidentally fought one monster, but that's it. Uh, we're about to go to some surprise here. Uh, and hopefully, you notice the music's a little bit quieter this episode. Last episode, it was pretty loud, but you could still hear me, so I didn't fix it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go see what the surprise is all about. Let's get to it. Do you smell that? Surprise, okay. Is that cinnamon roll? Cause I didn't want that. It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. Oh yeah. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Oh boy. Here, I have another surprise for you. Okay. All right. This is it. Bedroom? A room of your own. I hope you like it. Oh, gosh. She can touch my butt. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Oh, uh, don't burn my pie. Butterscotch will taste yucky burnt. So will cinnamon. Oh. Oh, don't sleep. Oh. I had so much exploring to do. An empty photo frame. It's really just dusty. A box of kids shoes and a disparity of sizes. Oh, that's scary. A box of... Oh gosh, is this like a horror movie or something? A horror game? Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. Oh, okay. That's lame. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Did I eat it? I bet this heals my whole life. Oh, HP. I wonder if I can... You have seen this type of plant before, but do not know its name. Just a regular old bucket. No, I want to look at the... Of oh, snails! It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage? Yes. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. That doesn't make any sense. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. <laughs> That's terrible. Okay. This is an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. You peek inside. Scandalous. Historial sock drawer. Nice. You can't stop looking at the socks. Can I sleep in her bed? Definitely bigger than a twin size bed. Wow, yeah, rude. She's keeping the good bed to herself. Wow. Ah, the cactus. Really the most... Okay. I didn't read the rest of that, but... Eh, whatever. This coloring is interesting. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Room under renovations. Mirror, it's you. Okay. Daya. Oh yeah, I did that. So if you are watching this in the future, once again, I am recording basically this whole game in the course of one or two days, and it's recorded a month before it even starts going up, so you're free to make recommendations to me in the comments, but uh, it won't matter. <laughs> These books are worn. They must have been read many times. These books are, okay. Which actually, with this kind of game, I prefer to do it that way to play it all before uploading because I know it's a very spoiler like it's good your first time from what I've heard as something a game you want to avoid spoilers for so it's good that I'm doing it this way instead of one episode at a time inside is an old calendar from the beginning of yeah yeah let's go downstairs first oh I think you should play upstairs instead. She's the devil, guys. I don't know what to do about this, but probably have to do something about it. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. What? Gets hot, I guess. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. Wow. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. So if is very clean to where I must use fire magic instead. Okay. Cool. 
Fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You could put your hand inside. Fire magic. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the caverns and this was our new home, which we named Home. How creative. As greatly as our, as great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. You're lousy at names. Bins and tools have been filed down to make them safer. Let's try to like get. Wait, let's see. Uh, we're trying to run away again. This time we're gonna go with more uh, focus. Before she's even fully gotten away. It's drafted here. You will catch a cold. I don't care, lady. I'll beat you. I'm just gonna. She's gonna get so mad at me, probably. <laughs> Is dust here? You will catch a cough. How many times do I have to go before she'll stop? Can I kill her? There's nothing to see here. May I have to go at night? Can you not wake up in the middle of the night? I slept for another day? We had a lot of money now. Where'd that all come from? Do you want to read a book? Sure. Do you want to build a snowman? I guess we can't go out there. I tried. Up already? I see. I slept two days. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared as a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you. Apparently I'm dead and can't get out. But I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps I thought this okay. Perhaps that isn't very surprising. I thought she was helping me get out. She's the devil, literally. Still. I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? Nothing. Well, talk to me again if you need anything. Yeah, it's called 72 uses for snails. Oh gosh, how about it? She likes snails. Hot tags of the rooms? Sure. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive system as they mature? Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. What is it? Nothing. Anything just to ask me. I feel like I'm not supposed to ask her that. I feel like she'll get mad at me. Okay, let's go let's go ask her. I have to do something. Stay here. She means she has to do something. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am not going to destroy it. Oh, gosh! No one will ever be able to leave again. Now, be a good child and go upstairs. How about not? <laughs> So he's scary. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Nope. Do not try to stop me. All right, this is your final warning. Eh, sorry. You want to leave so badly? <laughs> You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. I knew she's a meanie. Toriel blocks the way. Act. Toriel. Talk. You couldn't think of it. Any conversation topics? 
Okay, so I cannot talk to Toriel, apparently. Prepares a magical attack. Apparently I cannot spare her. Oh my gosh. She looks through me. Tried to think of someone to say again, but... What the heck? Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. Okay, so I think we're, uh... Oh gosh, that's, that's not great. Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, how do we do better attacks than that? Okay, we're gonna have to eat something. I feel like that red one will... Maybe not. Okay. Ugh. Oh, come on. You can literally go anywhere there. So that's the most we can do, it looks like. That's bad. Oh my... Yeah, we're gonna die for sure. We're goners. Gosh darn it. Okay. How about you let me go? <laughs> I had to talk to her too many times. Fifty six. She's not hitting me as much now. Or like, it's like she's not even pr trying to hit me. Got me. Oh, I'm hitting more damage now. I literally have two health, so if I get hit once, I'm just boned hard. Pretty sure she's trying not to hit me now. She takes a deep breath. Okay, I thought she was gonna... Acting aloof. Wrecked. I feel like maybe I wasn't supposed to do that. Er, you are stronger than I thought. Yeah, I suck actually. Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. Oh my gosh, this scroll's slow. She gonna die? Asgore, do not let Asgore take your soul. His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. <laughs> you dead. Be good, won't you? My child. Maybe she really is my mom. Wait, I need to flirt with you again. Oh, she died like a Digimon does. <gasps> Did I get in a hurt? Oh, no! Could I not kill her? Oh my gosh, I gotta, I have to, I have to fix this controller soon. I'm gonna have to make it so the analog buttons don't do anything. Because it keeps like, whacking out on me. So quiet. Oh my gosh, please. Why? It's so quiet. What is happening? 
Hee <laughs> hee. Oh gosh. I hope you like your choice. After all, it's not as if you can go back and change fate. In this world, it's kill or be killed. That old hag thought she could break the rules. She tried so hard to save you humans, but when it came down to it... Hee <laughs> hee. She couldn't even save herself. What an idiot. Okay, so I killed her. Okay, I think I could have not killed her. That makes me sad. <laughs> I'm crying. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Is that the end of the game? Is the game just over now? Wow, well, that was a fun game. Is that really it? Really? No, okay. Oh, that was like the tutorial, literally. Okay, I was gonna say, that was... It's a lame butt game right there. <laughs> There's a camera hidden in the bushes. What? Who would do such a thing? Look at these trees. I thought the game just... I was like, this is stupid. <laughs> it's a tough-looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. Okay. How's my health? Oh my gosh, I'm on, on two still. I took her health though, it looks, it seems like. Maybe a save point or something? Oh gosh. There's something behind me. Oh gosh. Hi. Walk across, please. Walk. Hi, human, okay. <laughs> Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Ah! Oh, is that? Well, that's scary. Yeah, the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. Oh god, it's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? Yep. That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm about. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, pa Pappers, I guess. Okay, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Stupid. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> what's up, bro? Oh, gosh. What the heck? You know what? You know what's up, brother? It's been fight. Oh, eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your, sta your station. What are you even doing? Staring at the lamp. <laughs> it's really cool. Do you want to look? No. No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then, I, the great Papyrus, there you go, I get it, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I'll finally be able to join the Royal Guard. Doubt it. People will ask to be my friend. Nope. I'll bathe in the shower of kisses every morning. <laughs> hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Oh my gosh, he's trying to help him. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. This fall is through. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work. I've gotten a ton of work done today. <laughs> a skeleton. <laughs> ah! Sans, come on. You're smiling. I ain't, and I hate it. Sorry. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow. Sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. <laughs> uh, I will tend to my puzzles. Ask for your work. Put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> Good. Great. Great game. 10 out of 10. Hey. <laughs> okay, you can come out now. Wow, you're kind of a traitor, you jerk. You ought to be get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Yeah, that's pretty awful. You're right. I do not want to do that. What is this? 
That's it's sort of checkpoint. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. There are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. It's a hot dog sale stand. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before. And seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Yeah, he is. Maybe not. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Okay, safe point. Good. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Oh, gosh. Did it say 61 minutes? Have I played it for an hour? <laughs> Okay. I have health now, right? Okay. I was worried about that. This is a box. You can put the item and item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Tough glove. Weapon at five. A worn pink leather glove for five fingered folk. You equip Tough Glove. Spark is... <laughs> Uh-oh, what was that? Okay. Snowdrake flutters forth. Laugh, joke, heckle. That's a joke. You make a bad ice pun. Ha ha, nice try. What? It was a good try. It was a great joke. You loved it. Oh my gosh, I remember what I was going to do. I'll do it in between episodes. Uh, I need to fix my... I meant to do that before this episode. Snow Drake. Uh, let's just heckle him. You boo the Snow Drake. Is your flesh rotten as you... Oh, sorry. I guess heckling is not very nice. He has his own name as a pun and is freaking out. Laugh. You laugh at Snow Drake before it says some anything funny. What are you laughing at? <laughs> what? But he realized his name was a pun. Oh. I'm supposed to wait. Okay, I'm supposed to wait and uh, give him a chance. Check. Snow Drake. This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Better not snowflake out. Ha 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 ha. It smells like a wet pillow. What? <laughs> he laughs no Drake's pun. See, it laughs. Dad was wrong. <laughs> oh gosh, no he wasn't. So Drake is pleased with its cool joke. There we go. Spare him. I'm a genius. What can I say? I was gonna go save, but I guess I don't need to. Fishing. It's fishing rod fixed to the ground. Reel it in? Yeah. Of course, all that attached to the end of is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. You decide not to call. No, I wanna call. But nobody came through. Yes, yeah, probably killed her. I wanna call. I wanted to call. I wanna call the phone number. Why? So, as I was saying about Undyne. Okay. How'd he get here? <laughs> Sans! Oh my god! Is that a human? Oh gosh. <laughs> Actually, I think that's a rock. <laughs> Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! <laughs> is is that a human? <laughs> the stupid sounding one is actually the smart one. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! <laughs> Undyne will. I'm gonna. I'll be so popular! 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 This guy. <clears throat> human, you shall not pass this area. You shall not pass this area. I, the great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. What? Then, then, I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare. Me. <laughs> that went well. Don't sweat it. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. 
You okay? I was gonna grab that rock really quick. Yeah, I think this is uh, a good place. I was gonna say a good place to save. Struts into view. Ice cap. He struts into, he struts, so he wants to comment. You inform Ice cap that it has a great hat. Envious, too bad. Oh. Those are easy to dodge. Oh, okay. Not as easy then. He's saying about a certain article of clothing. Do I have to steal? Just ignore him. You managed to tear, tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello, my hat's up here. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can I steal it? No, that's gotta be mean. You form Ice Cap that has a great hat. Duh, who doesn't know? This guy is sassy. Reminds me of my cat. You form my hat's too loud for me to what uh, is secretly checking if you're looking at its hat. Can I just check? It, this teen wonders why it isn't named Ice Hat. Your head looks so naked. Oh, he wants me to take the hat. He wants me to want the hat. So he wants me to steal it. Okay. Okay. You tried to steal Ice Cap's hat. But it's not weakened enough. Help! Fashion police! I feel like th I gotta be able to just compliment my way through it. Envious, too bad. What you looking at? I'm gonna try one more time. Then we're gonna kill him. Yeah, okay. I think I'm just gonna have to kill him. I mean, I don't think I'm actually gonna kill him, but... Yeah, okay. Which... What button is Z? Snow, no, it's hat residue. Oh, okay. Jeez, why do they have to say Z? Let's go. I, let's just no. We don't want to steal it. We want to be nice. Spare. Yeah. Okay. We're merciful. Okay, we're gonna go save and call it an episode of this one. Hope you guys are enjoying the pacifist decisions. Let me know what you're thinking so far, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Undertale. Bye-bye.